What's up guys, it's Dallas with Nexus 5 Soft Modder. Today I'm going to show you how to control your phone without even touching it. How cool does that sound? The main app behind this soft mod is called Hover Controls, which is developed by Gold Gores. It's a paid app that you can download from the Play Store for just $1.37. There's also a free ad supported version available on XDA, which I've linked out in the full tutorial that you can find in the description below. So as soon as you fire this thing up, it wants to know if you'll activate its device administrator service. This will give you a few more controls that this app couldn't do otherwise. So I'll go ahead and tap yes, and then activate. Now apps that have device administrator privileges can't be uninstalled. So if you want to remove this app at some point, you'll have to hit this menu button and go to uninstall device admin. In here you can hit this disable button to deactivate admin privileges, which will then allow you to uninstall this like you would any other app. But back to the setup. This app uses your Nexus 5's proximity sensor, so you should be aware of where that is. You probably can't see it here on mine, but if you look closely at the top right corner of yours, you can see a tiny dot here. That's where you should focus your gestures when you're using this functionality. So with that in mind, we'll go over the different gestures. There's hover hold, which is when you just place your hand over the sensor for a couple of seconds without moving it. Then there's slide once, which is a single left to right motion. Slide twice is similar, but you do two quick swipes in front of your phone. You can set a custom app for any of these gestures, so I'll do that real quick here. Hover hold, I'll go with camera. Slide once, I don't know, how about hangouts? Slide twice, here's a cool one. You can just take this box at the top to switch to the last app you had open using this gesture. Down here at the bottom, you can also enable a notification service that will give you even more options. And speaking of extra options, we can find those by jumping into settings. And here you can set the gesture service to start on boot, and you can also turn off the vibration feedback when a gesture is recognized. If you don't want to use any of the screen off gestures, you can turn this one off. There's an ongoing notification that this app uses to prevent Android from automatically clearing it from memory. If you're not worried about that, or if you just hate ongoing notifications, you can untick this one. Here's a cool one, silence your alarm by sliding once. I'm not sure I'd recommend this for any heavy sleepers out there though. Then there's even options for touchless music controls, lock screen stuff like lock and unlock via gestures, and phone call options. These are cool. You can do stuff like answer a call by simply bringing the phone to your ear. Or you can make an incoming call shut up by waving your hand in front of the phone. Now if you're rooted, there are even still yet more options. Camera auto shoot will take a picture when you cover the proximity sensor for a second or two, which I really don't think is any more practical than just tapping the shutter button, but still. These second two features are awesome. You can navigate through your gallery app or the web browser with gestures. So let's see some of these in action. Since I haven't rebooted yet, start on boot hasn't happened. So I'll manually enable the service just this first time. Let's try hover hold. Give it a second and it should bring up the camera app. There it goes. Now slide once. I believe this should bring up hangouts. Yep. Slide twice should switch back to the last app. Pretty cool stuff all around. But yeah, don't forget to check out the article for a more complete guide. And like, comment, subscribe right here if you can. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.